it's Daisy in the kitchen. I am getting ready to make me some pumpkin loaf. This is pumpkin from my garden. I've already had all the spices that I want in here. You see I done mixed it all up. I'm going to follow a recipe book. Even I do recipes. However, I don't follow them to the exact, but I love the pound cake itself. So instead of using six eggs, I'm going to use five. Instead of using a cup of shortening, I'm going to mix my shortening with butter, shortening, and margarine. And I use a vegetable margarine. I don't like to use meat products in my cakes. And instead of using the, the flour that is suggested to use, I'm going to use cake mix. I don't have to sift it. I don't have to add leveling. I don't have to add sugar. I'm just going to first mix my my shortening as I would do in the recipe with this, then my flour, then my egg. And if you notice, none of these recipes have water or milk. And that's why those pound cakes used to taste so dense. But I love it. And this is a recipe from this particular book. So I have to give credit to Miss Charles B. Moore. And this book was published in 1959. I was nowhere near born uh, in 1959. However, I love these recipes. And I, and I use the front cover to remind myself of where I... Uh, got the recipe. So this one say the pound cake recipe and you can see I used the book and this one is where I might like say uh, Yummy the Jubilee cookbook, you know, and I just love it Well, let me get in here and make this cake. I'll read these loaf cakes Always miss Daisy. Thanks for watching